Hey guys, Ron here from Tactical Fitness and the IWI Academy. In today's video, we're gonna go over various kneeling positions with the IWI uh, X95 Tavor rifle. There are various kneeling positions that we could take. It really depends on what we have in front of us and our distance from the target. If we're very, very close, generally we're gonna avoid a supported position. We just wanna get small, get into position quick and shoot. And that would be an unsupported kneeling position. Okay, and these can vary and you can essentially just drop right there into a kneeling position. Let's say you have some type of small barricade in front of you like this VTAC. Um, and this could be with your dominant knee forward or your non-dominant knee forward. It could be sitting all the way onto your heel or it could be up all the way, but notice that I'm not supported on anything. I'm not using my body for support and I'm not using the barricade for support. Okay, the main reason for this is that when I'm really, really close, let's say, uh, in a parking lot situation around vehicles where I don't want to per se expose my muzzle past my barricade okay so I want to stay a little bit back and a little bit more mobile I'm not bracing on anything because my threats are going to be generally close and potentially as a, a full-size presentation okay of my threat my other variant is a supported kneeling position this position I use actually quite a bit uh, when I do precision shooting uh, and or hunting, okay? So if I have some type of object I can use, whether it's a tripod, um, a barricade, I'll use that to brace my rifle. If I can grab a pack or something soft or a blanket to put underneath, even better to help absorb the recoil. So it could be essentially here on the barricade, I can squat down and brace the rifle. So we're talking about a horizontal type support. I can also close that gap between my rifle and my body by bringing my elbow in. Okay, if I need to be a little bit higher, I may need to use a vertical support, in which case I just make an L with my hand and rest with my rifle on top of my thumb. This could be on a higher position or of course on the reverse side as well. Okay, so it allows me to be pretty stable here and brace. Okay, of course we're already standing, but the same would apply in kneeling. Okay, now I can combine this with various anatomical uh, stabilization. So essentially I'm putting bone support underneath the rifle. So it's not just empty space here that's supporting the rifle. I also have a little bit of my body. So I'm gonna switch over here to my dominant side so you guys can see a little bit better. Okay, and this can vary in what we call a Tavor kneeling. So I can use the magazine on my thigh. It could be an elbow here. It could be on the reverse side where I essentially lean my tricep on my knee. And then I can also combine that with some type of vertical or horizontal barricade, which I can lean on. This could be a tree branch if you're hunting, a tripod, whatever suits your fancy. Here, essentially I'm closing that distance. If I have a pack, I can also place this pack into here to be stable and then start making my shot. And that's it guys. That's kneeling with the X95 Tavor.